Hello and welcome everyone to the Fan Stands. The Chinese Super League, also known as the China Ping and Chinese Football Association Super League for sponsorship reasons, is the highest hire of professional football in China, operating under the state-backed Chinese Football Association. It was created in 2004, originally featuring 12 sides and now features 16 teams. 15 now, we'll get, we'll get back to that later. Out of these 16 sides, 8 have won the CSL with Guangzhou winning it 8 times. The current champions, however, are Jiangsu Suning who won the league last season for the first time. And unfortunately, this will be their only league win because the team has been dissolved on 28 February 2021. So what has happened to this state-backed Super League that the fourth most valuable side in the league where nearly every owner is a billionaire had to be dissolved? Let's hop into it. When Xi Jinping, the country's president, made clear about a decade ago that it was, it was time to make China a global football superpower, many enterprises connected to this state moved local league. State was so much heavily involved in the league that whenever China's national side lost to Iraq or Syria, Xi Jinping was criticized well, not criticized, but as the same as the players or coaches. So Jiangsu Suning's owners, Suning, a retail giant whose department stores are feature of Chinese cities, came relatively late to the party in 2015, but was soon catching up in spending stakes. Ramirez from Chelsea, Alex Teixeira turned down Liverpool to come to China, Fabio Capello became the manager of the side. Before the title win last season, Cheng Zhu last captured international headlines in 2019 when they nearly signed Gareth Bale. Suning, which also holds a major stakehold in Inter Milan and also owns PPTV, which broadcasts Premier League, Bundesliga, Serie A in China. With match day revenues nearly absent, the owners also started to feel it in the retail business. Last month, Suning's largest stakeholders, Sang Jingdong, announced the company would cut back on non retail businesses. And recently, Premier League has also ended their deal with PPTV because of unpaid payments. With this, the Suning was finding it nearly impossible to afford the big wages of players, so they had to pull the plug. Well, according to a report, out of total revenue, 80% goes to the players' pockets, out of which 70% goes to the international players in the league. Lots of big names have been featuring in the league and have been heavily paid. This, had, this has led, da, led, led to clubs on verge of bankruptcy. So what holds for the league's future? Only time will tell. Will this affect Inter Milan's side also? We'll see that. Anyways, thanks for watching the video. Please like, share, subscribe to the fan stands and we'll see you in a while.